So we did go here. And we gotta do this little beauty. Again, just a cool little design. back ones but these front these forward ones uh, these ones in front those you don't want to do yet because that's going to get we're going to get our extruder put on that The extruder is going to mount to that, but we can get these. Again, these are half inch screws with a washer. on there like this. Cool. Now, um, you do want to use, I believe it's three-quarter. Could be wrong on that. Let me try. Nope, just half-inch. Half-inch screws with the washer. One. talking. Getting really close. To the mechanical part being finished. Go ahead and finish these out. Then the extruder that we did. So what's going to happen here is we're going to put our bolts in first. A little hard to reach. There we go. And we're going to use, well, you have to take this off. <clears throat> quite common that you're going to be taking your um, 
extruder off early on while you're getting things all dialed in. So I often leave that screw out. So we can just take this screw out and it folds out and you can get to that right down there. <clears throat> now, um, if you if you want can use a washer on top of this. Let me drill that out a little bit. There we go. They do uh, fit down into the recess. It's kind of deceiving because there's hex nut holes on this, but in this design, uh, you don't use them for hex nuts. Now, this looks like it's going to be too long. So half inch um, might be a better choice here. Sometimes I'll put a uh, washer on top. Let's see how bad three quarter inch screw there works. Kind of bottoms out. It'll work. So either half inch or three quarter. So, uh, got this guy. Put these down in there. And if all goes well here, go very gently. There it is. But there's just a couple of odds and ends left. We will add the belt, and I'll get the uh, the threaded rods going too. So we're going to do that in the next video, so I can chop this up. But uh, we did well. <laughs>